Welcome to the tutorial frames. So there are several ways that you can add frames to your scene. The first being extending your scene length. So if we scroll to the end of our scene, we can see that we have exactly 127 frames in our scene. To add to this, we can go to the top menu and select Scene, Scene Length. Then in the Set Scene Length dialog box, you can use the arrows at the side here to increase the scene length, or you can type in a new value. And so what I've effectively done is increased my scene length to 150 frames. I can also grab this red bracket and pull it towards the right to increase my scene length. So now I've increased my scene length to 170 frames. You can also add frames before or after a selection. So let's go to the X sheet view to do this. I select drawing one from frame five and then I go to the top menu I can go to scene frame add frames before selection or I could use the keyboard shortcut listed beside this menu option so I can increase or decrease the number of frames that I'd like to add and then click OK so I as you can see frames have been added not just above my drawing selection but for the entire row. So for all three columns, three cells have been added or three frames have been added. So I'm going to undo that. Then if I keep drawing one of frame five selected, I can go to scene, frame, add frames after selection and say OK after I've entered in a number. And once again, you can see there's the same result. Three frames have been added for each of the three visible or unenabled columns. You can also add frames at the beginning or end of a scene. So if we scroll to the beginning of our scene, irrespective of where the red playhead is, you can go to the top and select Scene, Frame, Add Frames at Start. And once again, you can change the num numerical value here and say OK. And now as you can see, all the frames for all the layers that exist in my timeline have been pushed over by three frames. You can also do this to the end of your scene. So I can go to Scene, Frame. Oh, I have to make sure though that the timeline is selected. And you know that the timeline view is selected by this thin red line that runs around the timeline view. So I'll go to Scene, Frame, Add Frames at End. And so I'll add another three frames and say OK. And as you can see, the red bracket was pushed over. And now we have 173 frames. So deleting frames is also quite simple. Um, you can reduce the number of frames you have, once again, by bringing this red bracket across. But I'd like to show you one thing. If I bring my red playhead to frame 140 of the stars, carrots, and fists clean, and I draw something there, you can see that a new drawing has been created, as you can see right here. Then if I drag this red bracket pass that new drawing back to frame 127 which would be here it looks like that drawing has been deleted but in fact it has not right now by bringing this bracket here I'm asking the software to only render this much of my scene if I choose to do a render however if I bring this bracket back towards the right you can see that all the cells that were there have remained there they were just hidden because I brought this bracket over to cell 127. You can also remove selected frames just as we added frames before or after a selected drawing. So let's go back to the X sheet for that. So I can remove my selected frame one by going to scene, frame, remove selected frames. And as you can see, frame 1 has been removed and all of the other frames have been moved upwards in this column. So now 2 exists where 1 used to. However, you can also do it using a button on the X sheet view toolbar. So let's undo that. And then bring up that button by right clicking on the X sheet view toolbar and going to customize. 
Then let's scroll down until we find Remove Frames, so the Remove Frames button. Let's click on this arrow here to put it in our X Sheet View toolbar. Click on Apply and then click OK. So when I clicked on Apply, this button was added here at the end of the toolbar, and that's the Remove Frames button. And it's paired often with the Add Frames button. So I'm going to click on this, and you can see that frame 1 or drawing 1 from frame 5 was in fact deleted. You can also delete an entire frame range and you can do this once again by selecting a frame, so we've selected frame 5, then scrolling down to select multiple frames for multiple columns and you can simply hit the delete key to eliminate all those frames. You'll get a warning message whenever you're trying to do multiple deletions, so I'm just going to say yes and you can see that all of those frames have disappeared. So if I undo that and then redo the same selection, you can also do it from the top menu by going to Scene, Frames, Remove Selected Frames, so it'll remove also a group of frames like this. And I believe that's pretty much it for the tutorial frames. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, Layers.